Hello everybody, I'm HBL from HBL TV and welcome back to a new video. Now, I'm sure we've all heard of Barcroft TV. They've made a lot of interesting videos in the past. I think I've made a few videos on them before. But they recently uploaded one a few weeks ago called, I fell in love with my sugar daddy. This is 21 year old Sabrina. Bruh. Not gonna lie, when I thought sugar baby, not exactly what I pictured. No, I just didn't expect her to be a weeb. That's all. She fell in love with 60 year old Grant. We clicked right away. Their relationship started as a financial transaction. Don't try to beat around the bush with this. Oh, their relationship was a financial transaction. That's just a nice way of saying, yeah, she was running his pockets. I met Grant on the Sugar Daddy, Sugar Baby dating site. Initially, for like financial reasons, I thought I would just find a sugar daddy. <laughs> financial reasons. Yeah, no, the financial situation is complicated right now, which is why I have a sugar daddy. You see, I wanted a new Louis bag. But soon after, it evolved into real love. You missed the whole objective of having a sugar daddy. Look, I don't support like the idea of sugar daddies and sugar babies and whatnot but if you're gonna do it do the bare minimum and do it correctly don't screw it up halfway through with a 38 year age gap between them there's many that don't take their relationship seriously i wouldn't say it's the age gap that makes me not take your relationship seriously i think it's the fact that you're holding a stuffed animal in public and you're an adult and i think she's only in it for the money or something like that yeah, come on guys, don't think like that. She's not only in it for the money. She was only in it for the money, but now it's more. Okay? Like, I'm not a gold digger. I was a gold digger. With some of that judgment coming from closer to home. My dad, he doesn't approve. Yeah, no shit, because your boyfriend's probably older than your dad. See, that's what you sent me. Hello, how was your night? She's teaching him how to use the computer. I'm sorry, I had to make at least one old joke. And I, see, we met on a Sunday, remember? Sunday evening. On yeah. Sunday. We're, and we met at Tailgaters. Yeah. He's just pretending to know what's happening. I don't know any of this gizmo gadget stuff, but it sure looks neat. Although 21-year-old Sabrina first saw 60-year-old Grant as more of a business venture than a romantic figure, well, how the business works is she gives him sex and he gives her some nice shoes. Quite the normal transaction, isn't it? Things quickly changed as they got to know one another. We clicked right away, but now like it's for love, it's not for money. I'm really happy. In the beginning of the in the beginning, I would hang out like several times a week because he's retired. He has a lot of time. Like we kind of put money aside. We didn't even really just care about money. Other. And the more we got to know each other, the more that I just liked him as a person. Yeah, no, I just, I really gravitated towards him as a person. Like as the person that would buy me shit. In that way, I really gravitated towards him. In terms of being called a, a sugar daddy, I am a little bit anti being called that because of the men who have taken it in a wrong direction. I do not like being called a sugar daddy despite the fact that I did find my girlfriend on a sugar daddy website. That's like robbing a bank and being like, I don't really want to be labeled as like a bank robber per se. You know, the whole thing with me quote unquote robbing the bank, it was just, you know, a business thing. You know, they give me the money and in return, I don't kill them. It was just a business transaction, that's all. Where it's just strictly money transfers for brief interludes of companionship. Brief interludes of companionship. That might be the strangest way I've ever heard someone say doing it. I was at her house last night. We had a, a, a brief interlude of companionship, if you know what I mean. Despite the relationship no longer being a financial arrangement, that's not got in the way of Grant showering Sabrina with gifts. Okay, so it is. Let's use the bank robber example again, because that was fun. You know, despite me no longer being a bank robber, I still do go into banks with a weapon and demand money. But I don't really like the stigma around the term bank robber because because you know there's a lot of negative assumptions that come with that because you know some bank robbers aren't the best people but i just i don't really see myself in that category these are all made in italy this is a sterling silver piece um and there's another one it has a different finish to it there's also this one we just thought they really stood out i mean they might be a little gaudy to some people but i really love it I kind of grew up with this where my, my family liked 
this type of jewelry. Yeah, our, our taste is just happens to be a bust down watch. She kind of falls right in suit. You know, even with this, even with jewelry selection, it's just amazing how we uh, match on this area as well. She happens to like gold watches with diamonds flooded all over them. It's just a weird coincidence. The pair have been dating for a while and are now thinking about making a change to their living arrangements. Right now I still live in a duplex with my dad, an apartment, but I really want to move in with him because I feel like it's the right step, you know. Bro, this girl is a genius. Yeah, I really just want to move in with him right now in his big house. Because, you know, I just feel like that's the right thing for our relationship. And I have no other motives. Listen to that side, though. I really want to move in with him because I... How funny would it be if she just got attached and, like, he still just wants this to be a sugar baby thing? Yeah, I found this sugar baby on this website and, like... She wants to be my girlfriend now. Like, I just, you know, I just want to give her money for brief interludes of companionship, but she wants to move in with me. My dad, he doesn't approve. He's so stubborn. Don't you hate it when your parents are stubborn and don't let you date somebody 39 years older than you? It's like, they don't get it. I'd really like my family to meet him. I just hope they would mm -hmm. see how happy I am and know that it's not, mm -hmm. it's not superficial. It's real mm -hmm. what we have. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. I've never felt about anyone the way I feel mm -hmm. about Grant. <laughs> He he doesn't care. Mm -hmm. and I just want people to see that like our love mm -hmm. isn't superficial. Like it's a hundred percent real. Like, I mm -hmm. genuinely do have feelings for him. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to move in with him. And the lack of support has extended further than just the Brina's family. Yeah, I have been married. I have three children uh, from the same uh, mother. Do your children know that you're a sugar daddy? Have you have you told them? They do know that. We don't discuss it. But they're skeptical. They're skeptical. That's a nice way of saying disappointed. All right, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.